redefining and reorganizing, reshifting, reshuffling the point of order when it comes to education and entertainment is what we are known to be doing between the hours of four and five. This is the biggest show in the motherland. It's Excel on the score. Live you watching it with the boys, Lamali Moon, as well as Usinalo Boot Freaky, bringing you the biggest, the, the best, best, and, and the, the most, most even happening show, show in the, the motherland. motherland, baby. It's channel 263 on your DSTV. So tell a friend to tell a friend, Ukuti, we are here. We are here to educate, to inform, and educate. Definitely one hour of nothing but the best of entertainment. We are here to make sure you are informed. What about now? Yes, what about now? Let's for us. Yeah, um, if you are looking to be part of TV making, and especially if Ushalape, Cape Town, you need to be able to commute to observatory where we are stationed. And you could be part of a formidable team that makes live television as well as pre-recorded um, shows. You need to have an entry um, year level five. Equip skills give vocational training in media and TV production. You need to be between the ages of 18 and 35. The internship incorporating camera operations, sound technology, graphics, vision mixing, video editing, set and designing, production, journalism, marketing, media sales, and a whole lot more. You can go to our website, which is www.ktowntv.org, or our Facebook fan page, which is Cape Town TV, and obtain your forms. You need to fill in those forms, drop them here at number 18 Lower Scott Road in Observatory, or in email and school training at capetowntv.org no later than the 16th of September and who knows you could be starting off a TV career yeah, right here on Cape Town TV because we are the people's channel so all the best to you and everybody else it commences from the 1st of October right till next year Wow, and you get to work with me. Why would you want to work with me? Come why on. would they want you, to work with me? No, because, yeah, you can see why. Right about now, you know, Lama, water so shortage is a huge problem as we face climate change, and many companies across the globe are trying to find alternative ways to save Lamanzas that we currently have. Yeah. Right about now, we're joined by Justin and Michelle, all the way from Aqua Sky. They're here to tell us more about this amazing company, what do they do, and how they go about saving water. Guys, yeah, I'll tell you show. this for sure. Jesus turned wine, water into, into wine. wine. But you guys are turning A into, into water. water. <laughs> Magic. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, Can thanks I for having us. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Brilliant show. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah, please you. have a sip. Have a sip. Have a sip. Yes, we want to have it. a sip and see yeah. how um, harvesting um, water Cheers. from the air actually feels like. <laughs> okay. Everyone in the crew is asking for their own for water. No, this is for the TV presenters, guys. Ah, yeah. It sounds incredible. It tastes like yeah. <laughs> yes. Guys, Lama is so excited to have you. He's so excited to drink this water. Let's talk about this idea of harvesting water from the air. How did it come about? Mm. Okay, so our, our director, he, he came about it from when he was traveling up north in the Northern Cape, and he realized how much water shortage there actually is in this country. I mean, Cape Town, we went through a massive water shortage. And yeah. you know, we have filled up, the dams have filled yeah. up a bit, but he said you go even further north and you realize how bad the water is. And he was thinking the same thing. How do I, what do I do? How can I get around this? And how can I help find water and, and come up with a solution? And he did a lot of research and he came across atmospheric generated water machines. And he said, well, let me try that, but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm going to actually plug in a bottling plant straight mm. into these machines. So that's how he started. And he started it roughly two years ago. And we've moved from Kalani Gardens, which is yeah. here local. And we moved just over the hill to the Islands in Pol. So much bigger facility, much better, bigger place. Wow. You show beautiful skin. You look very hydrated. <laughs> it's it's like you have this every day. I'm definitely yes. drinking this. <laughs> Thank you so much. What this is my beauty secret. <laughs> uh, I think I, I need to follow suit. <laughs> what I need to find out is, is water generated from the air different from water sourced from underground? Yes, it is very different. So instead of taking it out of the, uh, out of the ground and... Um, which, which which is not a very um, which, which is not a very good way of taking water because it can run out. Mm. So they take it from the air, um, and and if you use hu 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 humid air, it's a lot easier because they then and and then they use m machines to yeah. to to draw the water out. So it's so yeah. So it's a lot different, and it's a lot better. It's a it's a much e better and easier way to to take water. How is the process like? Take us through the process of changing 
air, the air that we breathe, Lana. Mm. <laughs> I haven't done geography you because water. there's water vapor and then it. Uh, I didn't do. I did. I did. I, I did business. Look at it's quite interesting. Um, but it's been around for a long time. The yeah. the, the whole system, but it's 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 a machine. It's got fans. The fans pull in the air. As long as there's humidity in the air, then you're going to draw water out of the yeah. air. So if it pulls pulls in the hot air, then you've got little coils, lots of coils, and then the air condenses onto those coils. Then it just forms water droplets and it drips down. And it goes through filtration, goes through ultraviolet, goes into our bodding plant. Boom, there you go. Well, we have different seasons, Lama. Like winter, Ta summer, um, autumn, spring? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I thought you were going to teach me something. <laughs> new, <but laughs> we have different seasons. You, can you guys obtain this water from the air throughout the year? Throughout the year, as long as it's humidity. Yeah. So coastal regions are better. Um, you, we can't really make it up in Joburg or Dubai. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. super dry, 45 degrees okay. in Dubai. If it's, if it's humid, then you can make water. So we will look around putting them around the coastal regions, putting up a plant. It's easily doable. Yeah. Oh. Now, Michelle, who's your target um, when it comes to selling mm. AquaSky water? And is it easy really on the pocket? Because I can't just walk into a shop and they say, I'm 79 99 <laughs> No, it is. In this it, economy. <laughs> No, so, so, so our target market is anyone that is drinking water right. and someone who wants an of, 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 of affordable um, wa yeah. water brand. Mm. So if you go into the shops, you'll see it is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other waters. And the fact that, that these new bottles are not even made of plastic. What? And that, yes, so they, and they are not even a lot more expensive. So this is actually cheaper than some of the plastic brands that you're, fi that you're finding. And this is a decomposable bottle made of plants. And it looks wow. like plastic, right? It, it does look like, like plastic. plastic. And it says in the bottle, I am not plastic. Bottle 100% yeah. made from pla um, plants filled with atmospheric generated aqua. Was this a conscious decision? Definitely, definitely. I mean, the whole world is looking at, at the plastic and the pollution that yeah. it creates. And it's a massive trend at the moment and following points on social media. Mm. So for us, it was a natural choice. We do a lot of our own... A lot of our own water we even put in glass, so we've got a glass range, we have a plastic range as well. Mm. But now this is our new product where we've moved away from plastic and we're trying a plant-based product, the first in South Africa. Yeah. We're going to see how well it takes off. We're hoping it does because it's great for the con for the environment. Yeah, yeah Justin, when I was doing my opening link on top of the hour, I did something very naughty. I pulled a bottle from your crate. Mm. Ah, that water tasted delicious. Ooh, um, however, you when you came through on set, you said, oh, it's water from the client. Mm. So I need to know. I am Lama Lee Moon and I've got a brand. I can come to AquaSky and Correct. request that you bottle water for me so and it will be branded Lama. Correct. So you you literally helped me in one of my selling points. Right? So <laughs> for clients that are big enough and they do enough water sales, then sure, we come, come to us, put your brand on it. We do a lot of brands in and around Cape Town ones, you know, Fat Cactus around the corner, Colucci's, mm. The End in Paul, which is Peter Goff Wood's new restaurant. At the Grand Ross, we do uh, we do uh, Float Zero, we do guacamole. We've got a lot of clients that we're busy changing. We're trying to change a lot of them over mm. from the traditional plastic as well to glass because we've also got a refill system. Sure. Yeah. So the refill system is we bring them in a nice crate. They keep it in their restaurant. They've got the bottled water. When they finish, they put them back into the, wow. into the crate. We come and fetch them again. So you're taking a single-use glass product mm. and making a multiple-use glass product. So now it's gone from super eco-friendly water made from the air, but now we're also recycling the glass bottles wow. as well for the client. Recycling and, of course, affordability goes sure. hand in hand. That's great. I want to ask you, Michelle, how does it feel like to be the brand ambassador of such a great initiative? I feel so honored, first yeah. of all, to be a part of such an amazing brand that is so eco-friendly. Um, and I am a professional <coughs> kite me. surfer, yeah. so I spend a lot of time in the ocean and on the beach. So I see the pollution um, right up, right like in front of me yeah. on the beach and in the water all the time. And so for me, all that that is all about healthy living and being eco-friendly. I'm so happy to be a part of this brand. And it's so appropriate because the brand is called Aqua Sky and my name is Michelle Sky. Hey wow. now, <laughs> please take me with television <laughs> presenting is so tiring. I could <laughs> drink water for a living. All the day. Look like that. <laughs> and look like that. What is. You have your to wakeboard though, eh? Yeah. <laughs>
What was that? Lam. <laughs> <laughs> he what? didn't get it. No, I missed it. Um, what's the future for Aqua Sky? Yeah. What are your plans? Well, moving forward, I mean, like I said, we just moved to Paul, so mm. we've expanded a lot. And then we're looking to uh, move around the country, go to other places. We're looking up the coast to open up a new branch. We're looking globally, we're looking Namibia, we're thinking Israel, we're thinking Western wow. Australia. So we're hoping that a local Cape Town company can go international and be a brand that's of recognized course, around definitely. the world. I mean, Aqua Sky just sounds like sounds a... Like, sounds yeah, sounds international. Like a and when there's a will, there's a way. Definitely. You know, now how do clients get yeah. hold of you? Well, you can use our website, www.aquasky.co.za. They can email us at info at aquasky.co.za. And our social media handles are very easy to find. You just search for them as aqua sky water and you'll find us no we problem. have to support local businesses that, that they can go global guys i'm sure you're leaving everything here for us yes, right <laughs> you are <laughs> guys please this people divan stay away from this great no, mama no, 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 i'm no. bringing you aqua sky water <laughs> no 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 it's ours um what excites you about your job because this is a very brilliant idea you're saving um the environment Moment. because climate, climate change and water uh, what's the most exciting because you're doing something very important but what makes you happy waking up in the morning and say I'm going to Aqua Sky and I'm gonna do this there's there's a lot of factors I mean I'm also I'm a graphic designer by trade and stuff mm -hmm. so I get to use my trade within my business that's using a, that business is, is doing good for the environment sure. it's water it's something that can go global it's something that everyone needs yeah. it's an everyday sort of item that can go big and I get to use my initial skill my graphic design skill to do the sales and marketing and help drive that mm. I get to still play with people's brands so when like you say when you came I want my brand on the bottle I get yeah. to play around with it and throw it on there and say how's that how do you like that and then so you are truly passionate about this which is yeah. something great yeah well guys it was an honor having you in the show yeah Thank please you so we much. let them go very important Michelle since you're the brand ambassador yeah. um September 20th it's National no, Recycling it's Day. Yeah. Uh, what's your message to your consumers concerning this very important day? So for us, we are so excited about the new Eco Bottle, which is plastic free or not, not made of plastic. And our message is that people need to start reducing the amount of plastic, stop, stop littering, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle, as they say. So wow. that is our One thing message course. to the consumers. One thing I will say is that to all the viewers out there, get yourself Aqua Sky Water and be hydrated. <laughs> drink less wine and less beer and less whatever. And drink water. From the air. I drink water all the time. <laughs> it's time I don't know about you. To go to a musical interlude. <laughs> we'll be right back. Tasty.